Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salian Consulting, and in this video I'm going to focus on one of the new features in FileMaker 16, which is the card window. Now this is going to be a basic introduction on what the card window is, and how you can make it work. Check out Salian TV where we'll be posting other videos on how to take advantage of this technique and this tool, and we'll also be posting other videos related to FileMaker 16. So let me show you quickly two examples of how you can use a card window. I'm going to click on Sherry Brown, who's the CEO, and you'll see that a card window pops up, the background is grayed out, and we have the ability to see details about Sherry Brown. And I could go in here and change anything I wanted. I also have the ability to add a new employee right from here. So I click Add Employee, and instead of switching to a different layout completely, or adding a new row in the portal and having the user enter the data there, I can show a card window where someone could add a new record, click Done, and then at the bottom of the portal we're not going to see that new employee. So let me pull up a really basic card window and then we'll talk about what it's made up of. So all this button does is open up a new window in the card style. So the card window is really a window style. The card window works both on Pro and Go, but it does not work on WebDirect. And it's treated a little bit different when it comes to Pro versus Go. Whenever you want to open up something in the card window, your script step will be the new window script step or the go to related script step, which incorporates the new window script step. So I'm gonna double click on new window and this window itself has changed in FileMaker 16 in that now when you create a new window through a script step, you can also define what layout it should go to from the get-go. Before this was two different script steps. So here's the option, it's the new fourth option for the window style. We can choose the layout that we want to go to, and this is just a smaller layout I built that just has a text box on it. And then you can set the size and the position. If you don't put anything in these different fields, FileMaker will put it centered to the previous window and it'll size it to the size of the actual layout. For the window options, you have the choice to include the icon to close the window, as well as you have the ability to dim the parent window, and both of these things are turned on by default. I'm gonna go back to my sample here. You'll notice that in the example where I clicked on the employee name, there is no ability to close the window here, and clicking on the background doesn't do that. The only way to do it here is by a button on my layout. So I've created a button that does the close window script step here. Note that in FileMaker Pro, clicking in the background or the parent layout won't actually close the card window. This will work, however, on FileMaker Go, unless the close button is hidden. So in FileMaker Go, you don't actually see a close button. You just have the ability to click away by clicking on the background. Now let me open up this kind of bland version of the card layout here. I'll quickly point out that there's no title bar, no window frame, there's no border, there's no status toolbar, and there's no formatting bar. So think of the card window as the most bare bones version of a new window. And it's also tied to a parent window, so when I move the parent window, that moves as well. The card is something that can't be resized by the user, so a developer can change the size when we were looking at that new window ability, as well as its location, but the developer is responsible for deciding that, not the user. When you close the card window, the record is committed, so if you've just done something in that record here, closing the window does commit the record before closing. So how is this going to get used? Well, I think it's got a lot of functionality. I showed you two examples here, the ability to show related data, the ability to add related data, and we've got lots of other things we could think of. It's gonna be great for navigation. Because it's a layout within a layout, you can show data that's not related at all, so you could show something like a to-do list. And really, when something like this, it's the sky's the limit. Another one that I think that's gonna be really valuable is being able to show custom dialogues or the equivalent of a custom dialog with a new window. So you can now throw smarter errors at your user all with one window because you'll just be reusing a layout to show what the error message is. So I think it's a really cool tool. I think it's going to be a game changer when it comes to FileMaker 16. Like I said, we'll be posting other videos showing off this new technique, so make sure to check it out. Hopefully you're as excited about FileMaker 16 as we are, and we look forward to sharing more of the tips and tricks that we get out of this new version. Thanks for watching.